Is the book of Enoch biblical? No, it's not. Now, that was the question we were asked. So let me, let me change the question to, is the book of Enoch valuable? And the answer is yes, it absolutely is. So what is the book of Enoch? Well, there's really three books of Enoch, if I remember correctly. And when people talk about the book of Enoch, they're typically talking about the first book of Enoch. Now, in general, the book of Enoch um, covers what's called apocalyptic literature. Apocalyptic literature is uh, literature in the Bible and other writings that speak to God's actions in the future through prophecy, very symbolic language. That's typically the genre of apocalyptic apocalyptic literature. Now, when it comes to the book of Enoch, one of the ways we know it's not biblical is because it has it's written with the name of someone that didn't write the book. So automatically right there, it's not written by the Enoch of the Bible. So automatically it's called pseudepigraphical, meaning that it's a false writer. It's, it's somebody is uh, purported to write it who really didn't write it. So right there, it's not biblical because it's not truthful. But when you get into the teachings of the book of Enoch, the reason it's valuable is because it gives us insight into the thinking, into the worldview of the people alive during the New Testament. And so the book of Enoch tells us the way that people were thinking about the world, thinking about God's relationship to the world in and around the first century when Jesus walked the earth, when his apostles were preaching and even before that. And so it's incredibly valuable for knowing for New Testament backgrounds. It's incredibly valuable for understanding the way that people thought about the world, their worldview in the first century. And it's it's incredibly valuable, just like any other book. Like I'm surrounded by books here that are not books of the Bible, but books that are written about the Bible which give us insight and helpful ways to understand what the Bible teaches, and that's the book of Enoch as well. So is it biblical? No, it should not be a part of the Bible. If it should have been a part of the Bible, it would have been there from the very beginning. It's written by somebody who doesn't have the... uh, whose name doesn't attach to the actual person that wrote it. It doesn't match other revelation given previously that are in the books of the Bible. It's not written by a prophet or an apostle or somebody connected to them. And so when you put it all together, no, it should not be in the Bible. But is it something that is incredibly valuable? Absolutely. So that is the book of Enoch. Hope that was helpful.